So, Fells versus Gisater. Gisater. Something like that. Okay. So, this map is pretty open. Aztec's Goss. Interesting matchup here. Um, happy to know the strategy is okay. But too bad execution or lackey. Yeah, but, well, execution you can definitely work on, though. It's just repetition, and then you figure out what's good. And, yeah, the, the key there was definitely keeping the stables running. Usually, once people get to, like, 1,300, it's it's when they can keep they can keep the production running, but then their unit control is maybe not as good, uh, not sending the units properly, and, uh, yeah. And then once you get up even higher, then it's like the follow-up is not as good. It's always something to work on. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's focus on this game. We have Aztecs versus Goths, and... Our hero is the Aztecs player. Actually, here, let's uh, see see if Jonah's actually around. Um, is his replay. Um, okay. Pushing deer. We'll keep it on our Aztec player's point of view. Now, Aztecs should be pretty good here. Goths can play... Um, can play gunpowder. Wow, what? If we just used that villager to shoot, the ostrich would have gone towards the TC. That would have been so good. Missed opportunity to uh, to just be super cool. But uh, anyways, um, going for the forward woodline. Yeah, there's a pond back here. This woodline's better, but eh, whatever. There we go. All right, I have a question. I have control uh, trouble controlling my army when I hit feudal. Dropping the buildings, getting upgrades. Any tips on how to do that? Okay, we'll focus on the feudal age then. That will be Z focus here. And these houses, I mean, they could have... They, you should have had this scouted already, but they should have probably been in front of the berries. Like this side, he's not coming from this direction really, so like... Walling the front is more priority. Also, since you went for the forward woodline, you kind of have to wall, like, everything. Yeah. Forward woodline was always going to be a bad call. And you didn't scout. You were too busy trying to push deer that you didn't really scout properly. And that's why this happened. So, two things. Two things. Woodline should have been in the back woodline. And then just wall to the TC here. And then the berries, you just... You do, do like, what you're doing just to this woodline. Um, but also, you didn't scout. So, that's why, that's why you got caught out. Um, there we go. Nice. Okay. You don't want to chase him. If you're going to go men at arms. Oh, wait. You're not going men at arms. You're going drush. It's just like a super late drush. All right. Then chasing him is okay. Kind of. You do want to put pressure on the opponent. You, you kind of forgot about your scout, though. You really. You don't know where to go because you never scouted. If you knew where to send your guys. You would just go to his base and force walls and stuff, but since you never scouted, then you you can't really make informed decisions as to where to send your units. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Making the walls... So you're going to be probably playing archers after this, which is okay. You don't want to get too stuck on archer tech against Goss. If they go Huskrolls, it just super hard counters it. But, uh, yeah. Like, in this matchup, I would say that opening men-at-arms would be good because then you have the men-at-arms tech for later. So you go, like, men-at-arms archers. If you get crossbowmen and he adds a Huskrolls, then you transition to the long swordsman. That could be good, actually. It's probably the only play. You could be cool and make jags, but that's just worse than going long swordsman. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, our dudes are chilling in the middle of nowhere, and we made another dude as well. So, you're going to be so late on this men at arms. Unless you go now, you're focused on walling, but man, you can't wall if you don't scout. You needed to scout your entire base earlier with the eagle. So, Dark Age scouting was a huge problem here. I think you just forgot about these. Just forgot about them, I guess. 
Wait. Oh, those are the guys from earlier. Oh! Not quite. Imagine if these guys were gonna do something, though. Um... Okay. But yeah, your Dark Age scouting was really something you need to do more. Just don't even push deer. Just, just scout. So much better. Push one deer, and don't push any more deer. Yeah, you definitely forgot about these. I mean, if you, imagine you had four men at arms here. He just loses the game. You just win the game if you do that. I don't know what happened here. But, uh, anyways. Walls are kind of... <laughs> this guy's still chilling. <laughs> you're, you're, like, slowly building three walls, and then he's, he's, like, scouting it, and then you're slowly building another three walls. Yeah, the opponent's just idled his TC forever, and that's the only reason why you're not completely dead. Is because the opponent's basically just killing himself. So, that's good. The slow walls. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I really dislike how you set up your base here. Like, what, what is this? We need to be thinking more about the scouting. Thinking about the information that we get from scouting. And then also just actually scouting the map more. Because that will allow you to make more informed decisions as to how you want to set up your base, what strategy you want to go. Because right now, it kind of feels like you're just kind of randomly doing things. Not randomly, but like, you had a strategy and you're just going to, you're not going to adapt. You're just going to do what you had planned from the start. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. The adaptation is kind of weird here. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> We're going across the map. And that's been so open. Yeah, well, this map was not even that open. Like, it's somewhat open, but you, you definitely could have walled. Awkward to secure the gold, but still. We didn't need to wall like this. <laughs> Bringing these guys up here just in case the men-at-arms find their way over here. All right. Seems good. New strat, slow walls. Yeah, well, the opponent hasn't really used the men-at-arms. Where are the men-at-arms? It's three men at arms on the field. They're just not doing anything. Nice. That's up. Okay, well, you're almost ready to go across the map with some uh, pletching timing here. So... I want to go back to the start of Feudal Age and just see your resource spending. Oh, yeah, you, you got up pretty late on this one. Forward golden berries yeah but simple wall to just wall in front and then just connect these connect that connect that just a little square base nothing wrong with that okay so let's see 350 wood right here where's the range range instantly what do we spend the rest on double bit wheelbarrow arms how long is it gonna take or er, not wheelbarrow sorry horse collar Where's the horse collar? There's a horse collar. Okay. And then we can get the farms going. Like, as soon as... Farms take 15 seconds. So, as soon as you have 10 seconds elapse on the horse collar arc period, you get farms. One, two, three. Oh, you shouldn't have deleted your straggler, though. Here would have been a good spot. If you delete your stragglers too early, then it's not good. Because then you have nowhere to rally your bills. Still have lots of wood here, though. Let's focus on the wood. A little bit. Overall, the spending's okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. But yeah, look, not having any stragglers is kind of bad because now you can't really rally to anything. I guess you have this one, but it's almost out. It's just really nice to be able to get them to do something when you're doing something else with your units or whatever. Uh, okay. Let's keep this going here. You ran out of berries fast because you had five on berries. This is. This is why you only go four on berries. Because if you go five on berries, you will have more food for early. So that's great if you're going to go for men at arms into archers. Because then you'll have more food for fletching and stuff. But if you're not going to do that, five on berries just means you run out of food faster. Which means you need to make farms with these. But you don't have the wood that early to make farms with these. Which means that your economy is just complete potato. And then you can never get to castle age. So... Taking your berries a little slower is kind of important eh, when you know how the economy works. Somehow your opponent's worker efficiency is worse than yours. And on screen, there's been like five idols forever. So, I mean, your opponent's also having difficulties. <laughs> but 
but yeah, these these bills have been these bills have been idle for actually over a minute, very long time. We get more detailed stats here. Yeah, Ooh, I haven't really looked at this. This is like their entire lifespan, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Feature preview, so it's not even done yet. That's cool. All right. Uh, 27 population clicking age and buying from shop, like from the market. I, I don't know what you mean. Uh, like 30% idle. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Sometimes you just forget about your bills, but this is where select all idols comes in handy. Okay, we're gonna go for an attack with the fletching. Don't let the, he, this guy's gonna reveal that you're here. You need to group them. You don't want to have this. Like, look, he sees you now. He sees where you're going. Or you're just walking past the blacksmith, anyways, but. And the opponent's also trying to do mega walls that are just bad, so he's just open. He should have done much tighter walls, and then then he's fine. But, uh, I mean, I used to be like this, too. It's, just, it's, it's hard to think about walls, but that's why I made videos on walls. I have, like, two videos on how to wall. Watch those videos. You will learn to wall properly. Okay. Where did these scout? He opened men at arms, but why does he have scouts with bloodlines? Where did they come from? What is this? I'm so confused. He might kill you. Oh, the collide incorrect. What's going on? Your guys just randomly moved down here. You definitely didn't click those there. That was a that was a thanks TE moment. All right, whatever. You can't do anything here. So you kill the one scout and then you just, don't even micro. Just like actually do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Market, and we go up. You don't even need the market. You just need to cancel these archers that are in the queue. Then you're up. Force drop, and then you go up. Cancel the archers. Look at your archer queue. Cancel them. Force drop. You're fine. Ah, uh, I don't think you realize you have, like, this many guys. Always be looking at the, the global queue that's up here in the actual game that says... How many vills? How many archers you have queued? Stuff like that. Always be looking at that. Very important. Uh, okay. So what's the plan? We're gonna go archers. But guess what? He's goths. He's gonna go huskerls. And we didn't open men at arms. So what's the plan against huskerls? You always have to have a plan against huskerls in this matchup. Just against goths in general. Okay, and well, mega walls means that you can't really get a vill over here to rewall, right? So you kind of, you will get in position just barely, but you know, it's a little harder if your units weren't in position. You're gonna go jags. I mean, yeah, it's strictly worse than going long swordsman, but it's fine, I guess. It's your only play. You have to go on stone like 10 minutes ago though. Not 10 minutes, but like three minutes ago. If you get a TC on stone, it's gonna be, you're not gonna have enough for the castle fast enough, basically. And we're still one lumber camp, because you walled out your good lumber camp, unfortunately, so. Oh no. Nice, you saved them. Yeah, going for a forward lumber camp's not good. Is that open? No, it's not. Uh, but then also, the fact that you didn't end up getting a second lumber camp also is really hurting. Like, this efficiency, even with Aztecs plus three carry capacity, is still pretty bad. Arches into Jags later. Well, yeah, but once, like, three Huskerls, and that's going to kill all the crossbowmen, <laughs> basically. Second DC on stone, maybe. We'll see if the Goths decides to go for, like, Siege with the Huskerls, and he gets in. It's going to gonna be a while until until the uh, the castle's up here. We're going mining camp now. Wait, why are we making a mining camp? You're in Castle Age. Just make a TC. We're doing nothing. We're gonna just be floating resources here. If you're gonna wait until you're up, you should just make a TC, I think. Opponent's making random barracks in the middle of the map, though, so that's okay. Come on, kill it. No. Maybe he doesn't see. No, he sees it now. The safe stone for the castle. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, honestly, even at my level, you can open with Huskerls against somebody going crossbowmen. It's probably okay in some situations. This is going to be a disaster, though. 
Okay, at least at least go where there's a palisade wall. Oh man. It's a good castle location. It is wall. No, it's no no, it's is it no that's open, right? Yeah, that's that's open. Sticking the sticking the dudes there would be it, but just opportunity. Anyways. Uh, he needs to make this castle with a little bit more haste. I would probably recommend him using these villas. Oh wait, you're shooting the house instead of the palisade. Never mind. You need to kill this wall with a little more haste. If you got in, you would just win, but you're shooting the house, so. All right. What is this? Never mind. The castle's up. All right. Now you know it's TC's here, right? Hello. <laughs> Let's not go into his TC. All right. Now you you see this? You need to run home. Like you don't understand the power of husk girls. Three husk girls in this. Uh, maybe not three. Maybe four husk girls and this army dies. Wait, he's getting iron casting. Uh, no, not iron casting. Get like four more husk girls. It's way better than iron casting here. It's the red. Anyways. What is this castle? I get that you want to secure wood and gold, but, like, it's in, it's in the corner. Shoot him. Nice. Oh, man. Don't send the husk rolls one by one, red, though. Man, red. Wait to four. And then go with four at the same time. All these guys will die to four. I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah, I saw this TC. It's like kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah, Red, Red's being good. He doesn't need to fight this yet. He might as well make some more guys, but instead he got armor, which does nothing. He just wasted resources. Crossbowmen already do one damage to Husk Girls with no armor upgrades. So Red could have just had like... Red could have had 10 guys and no upgrades, and it just would have been strictly better. Good micro. You are doing focus fire micro, which is worse than attack move micro, but I mean, it's still actually decent. Yeah, no, no, you will lose this for sure without attack move micro. Focus fire is just not as good. Um, but yeah, Husk Girls are insane versus these. But you have the castle. It's kind of training drags from the back of your base though, which is not necessarily great. But, uh, yeah, um, this needs to be fixed. This TC here, TC, like, on the gold. The way that you laid out your base is just super awkward. Super awkward to go anywhere. Uh, but yeah, Husk Girls, like, they don't need any armor upgrades against Crossbowmen. They have six base armor. So, if you're just up against Crossbowmen as the Husk Girl player, just don't even get armor. It doesn't do anything. It's just a waste of resources. Attack is okay, but how much uh, bonus damage do these guys have again? Six. So, these guys are doing 18 damage per hit to the, the Crossbowmen right now. 18 damage. Minus one. 17. Okay, so yeah. With, with plus one armor, you negate the plus two attack but if, if he has plus two attack and you don't have armor he's two-shotting your guys <laughs> and it's open and our castle should have been on this hill because securing this area would have been good red with the one bill castle <laughs> yeah the hustlers get healed it does negative one damage now they get healed when they get hit <laughs> can you imagine that'd be op Okay, where are the Jags at? Like, oh my god, there you actually have some. Oh, if you get up here, do you see this? No, you don't see it. Go to get the explanation. Hack stats, armor, see how much damage is done for hit. Uh, I think Spirit of Law probably has a video on that, or maybe TUS. Yeah, I, I won't explain everything here because it's kind of complicated, but anyways. What, are you hiding the Jags? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> Jags would have been pretty good there. Well, now it's too late. He has a castle, right? But at least you kept your TC running. If there's one thing to be said, you kept your TC running. So you can make a lot of mistakes at this elo if you know how to keep your TC running. 
you can you can basically do whatever you want as long as you have the vill count to just like have more stuff eventually jags take out the castle mm. no i don't think so like technically they can but i don't think that's good <laughs> both armies are just walking beside each other All right, just win just attack just win why are we going to the low ground no we gave him the high ground okay attack on the low ground it's fine you will win this fight jags are pretty strong they're not great against cavalry but like they're not bad yeah you ate and they make a pretty cool sound when they attack very important them and they never engage the jags run back ah yeah okay that's kind of what it looks like he doesn't have enough tc or he doesn't have enough arrows under here for the bills so it's fine okay there's gonna be one knight going down to the crossbowman very nice opponent's kind of wasting hp here he just shouldn't even be attacking this with the knights he doesn't have enough i mean you should be attacking him i don't know where you're going just kill the knights i mean actually the knights are probably enough now I'm gonna go to the hill. where you go Going. Right, well, you probably lose that fight. But uh, anyways, what is this? What is this? What is this? You don't even see it either. This is just part of the... Your walls are so jank. That's why he's able to do this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, not having vision on this was kind of bad as well. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Goss have hand cannons later, so Goss will be completely fine against this. We should go Imp. Yeah. Imp and Treb. Okay, we just made a low ground castle, which is not good. We have a low ground castle to his castle, which is generally not what you want. Like, unless you're up to Imp and you know the opponent's not up to Imp. This is good. Like, the only reason you're probably going to win this game is because you're actually really good at keeping the TC running for this level. Compared to your opponents, you can... You, you have fairly good eco management. So, um, that's good. But yeah, the, the low ground castle here to his castle? It's not good. Aztecs, they don't have masonry. They don't have architecture. They don't have um, hoardings, right? So... You have some of the, the weakest castles in the game. So it's really tough to keep that alive. But you're up and he's not, so it's going to be fine. T-West is here. Welcome. Okay, I would love if these things just did something, though. But Actually, you know what they should do is go back home. But Red's going to force a fight where Red loses. So that's kind of good. Never take fights where you're going to lose. Pro tip. Actually, maybe he will win that. I'm kind of underestimating... Or, I, I think I overestimated how good Jags are. I guess they're only good against infantry. Okay, never mind. He actually was able to win that fight somehow. I guess now he has upgrade. He upgrade, but uh, yeah. Go back home would have been good. Um, basically, it just comes down to the fact that you're up to Imp. And when you go up to Imp, you want to get Imp upgrades. Oh, you didn't have armor either. Okay, yeah. Oh, or attack. Okay, yeah, you guys weren't even upgraded. Yeah, that's, that's why. Jags don't like fighting knights. Yeah. Yeah. They only have one melee armor, too, so. Yikes. <laughs> uh, I guess you don't see this yet? Maybe? Red has full map control, but. 15 bill lead? And lead to Imperial Age by a long shot. He's gonna click up here, but. You're up! Triple Treb production, let's go! One. Two. Are we using select all? Oh, don't make jags. Make trebs. Trebs. Just trebs. One production cycle of trebs from everything, and then you make jags. We don't need jags here. What are the jags going to do in this situation? Nothing. Nothing. You can just wall your trebs in against the knights if he tries to dive. You don't need military. But you do need to use your tech advantage here by making trebs. So yeah, this castle. Trebs. Description or another treb one of the two has to be basically like the key of early imp in this kind of situation is getting trebs out 
So either Trebs or Conscription. That's all you should be thinking. Well, that's like the, the main focus that you should be thinking about here. Not the only thing you should think about. Here we go. Conscription in this one would be perfect. Perfect. Wait, did you just not see his castle? No, you know about it, so I don't know. I don't know, man. No Conscription yet. Always forget Conscription, yeah. It's easy to forget, but it's so strong. You just gotta get into the habit of getting it. You gotta set up a hotkey for it. I remember I didn't use a hotkey for it for a while, but once I started using a hotkey for it, it's just like a lot easier to get. He did collect a lot of your gold here, so. Yeah, he actually collected almost half of it. Collected like 30 something percent. Okay, now you transfer everything down here. We need to be fast. Goss can go up and get bombards, so you kind of have to You, you kind of have to take these down quickly Otherwise he will have bombards and it'll be impossible to take them down you kill this and then Ideally you'd have another castle on this hill, but you don't have a stone yet Finally took this wood line. Let's go with one bill uh, All right You're still quite far ahead we're going Arb and Jags, which is actually pretty good. But you're going to run out of gold. Yep, you have to take this gold. Where's the other gold? He's taking this gold already, kind of. This TC ended up being good. Where is the other gold? Um, Where's the other neutral gold? Oh, they're both in this area. Okay, yeah. So... Yeah, Aztecs without gold kind of loses. But you're able to max out one time on a full gold army. One time. You get one chance. It's an easy fix. You're going to strip, just play Civ like Vietnamese. Well, it's Vietnamese. Not a good Civ. Actually, it probably is. I'm just so bad with them. All right. So this is where you push forward, but you get a castle here. You kill all this, and then you're kind of golden. But, of course, you don't have enough for a castle. So, uh, But that would have been the perfect plan. Because now you can add in, or now you can take this hill with the traps, but, oh man. Knights coming in. Goths don't have the final armor though, right? So, they do die to the arbs. Um, yup, racer. No chemistry though, chemistry's kind of big. But, well, you went into pikemen randomly, so that's good. <laughs> they ended up working for you here. Arb coming in. If you can get chemistry, then you really dominate these cavaliers. Every attack counts here. And you're you're pretty much maxed out too, so you could force a fight and you would just dominate. You have 77 military. Yeah, this is just fine. You just have enough. I mean you might lose that fight because you don't have everything together, but it's it's not cost effective for red. That's for sure. Yeah. Wait, where where is your army? Like, I guess I guess your units are just really small. No, that's not all. Oh, maybe it is all the army. Okay. Yeah. Your units are just tiny. Oh, trips. Not like this. You took kind of a bad fight on the low ground there, though. No ballistics. Ah, that's good to point out. Yeah, that's. It's not as important here because he's just going to be charging at you, but yeah. Yeah, you just fight under the TC or fight under the castle. There you go. Maybe get some pikes in front. Yeah, he's just going to run away. No problem. All right. Uh, you're still pretty set up here. You're on the stone now. <laughs> you're sharing the stone. You're both on the stone. Wait, where, what's the eco? Why do both players have like no bow saw, no heavy plow? Crazy. Both feudal age. Kind of. So, missing a few important techs here. Just a few, but Goss going Cavalier is a recipe for disaster, so. And he's going Longswords into your arbs. That's not gonna go well for him. Not gonna go well, that's for sure. Okay, mm TC. Tons of gold now. Still missing chemistry. Still missing ballistics. Oh boy. If I am correct, making half your army going this way. Go this way. It's kind of weird. Gotta hate it.
Once you realize that you're lacking, oh wow, some misclicks here. Militia and a skirmish. Oopsies. Once you realize you're lacking ballistics, then you'll be in a good spot. Oh, he trapped your guys, no. He stepped on their feet and some of them went outside. That was good for red. I mean, what you gotta do is just chill. Just put your guys here for a second. Think about the upgrades that you're lacking. Maybe fix your economy a bit. You don't need to micro here. You just let him throw his army under the, the thing, right? Let him throw his army under here. Just prevent your guys from falling back. Barracks. I mean, you know he's cha transitioning the champions here. You see the champions. I think you're making it too, too complicated. You just get fully upgraded units. And then we go. Uh, now is not the time to push. Time to push is at 200-200, so don't bring the trebs until you're 200-200. But you gotta check for upgrades here. That scroll's gonna shred. Yeah, the jags are actually kind of necessary. I wonder, you probably don't even need elite here, right? We have plus 10 against infantry. You're already doing 20 damage per hit. Do you even need elite jags against, against this? I wonder. I mean, it's not that expensive. It's like 750 gold, 750 food, right? So it's not that expensive a tech. I can't remember what it gives, though. It gives one melee armor and probably like two attack. Five HP or something. I don't know. Maybe 10 HP. Okay, well, you're maxed now. So now's the time to do something. This is good. Castle on this hill. Man, you still don't have enough stone, though. Needed a little bit more there. But you're forgetting some text. So periodically checking your lumber camp, checking your mill, checking your your units. You should have realized you didn't have ballistics a long time ago because, well, your units were just missing a lot, right? Elite makes bonks even bonkier. Yeah, true. Okay. Oh, imagine you had ballistics here. I like that you're running towards the uh, the pikes, though. This is good. Instead of fighting here and then bringing the pikes in after. So, it's fine. Nice. Carbs are, like, just missing everything. It feels bad for him. Oh, wow. And he brought the husk girls next to the arb. So, actually, like, good unit positioning by both players here. And, yeah, red actually takes a huge fight with those husk girls coming in. But arbs just won't die if they go into the castle. So, it's kind of okay, right? Maybe. The anti-micro. This is fine though. Just need to remember the upgrades. That's really the the only reason you're not able to just dominate here is because your arbs just they miss everything from the the far distance. Boss can't be stopped in him. No, oh, I think that uh, this. Aztecs should be able to stop them, but we didn't grab relics either, which, I mean, Aztecs not grabbing relics, that's a big problem. Uh, Goss, he's he's dead. He didn't boom properly. This is what happens when you don't boom to 130 bills or, like, 120. You just can't re replace anything. So, actually, yeah, Goss is just going to die now. I mean, these units are not dying because the arms are missing every shot because of no ballistics, so you have to realize this. Yeah, for fusion? Well, he doesn't have resources. It doesn't matter if he has fusion or not. He needs. He doesn't have resources to even make stuff. He's gonna go light cav. Why though? He already has champions. Just make champions to raid. Anyways. Oh wait, you only have one treb left. Huh. Oh whatever. You, you kill everything. Bosa, let's go. Oh, he picked it off because you don't have ballistics, so you can't actually kill anything. <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. Gotta try every unit until something works. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like that. But I think the Goss player just forgets that he gets hand cannoneers. Obviously, the hand cannons won't deal with the arbs, but that's why you go hand cannons with some huskerels. It's maybe hard to get to, but we've been kind of sick. Definitely could have been achievable this game. Because red had both of these neutral golds here. GG. Well played. He just didn't boom properly. So he needed to get more vills. Because, yeah, couldn't keep the military machine going there. With not enough economy.
So, well, 